All right, this is the next game in our 40k narrative campaign. Uh, and here the Tyranids are surrounding a entrance, an entrance hole into the ground where, you know, the Tyranids come out of since that's where they've been hibernating for so long. Um, but this is actually the biggest hole supposed to be, even though it looks kind of tiny, it's like this big. The biggest hole on the world where all the Tyranids are like, where a majority of Tyranids are coming out of. A high concentration of Tyranid bodies flow out of this every day. And since the Tyranid, since, have, since the Tyranids have been coming out, you know, the Tau have been fighting them, have been pushed back, different, um, different places have been taken down, only this, only that one city is left, but since the last game, the Eldar kind of wrecked it. So the Tau were kind of, had to kind of leave it because the Tyranids battered in after the Eldar were defeated by the Tau. And since then, since the Tau weren't able, had to bring all their forces down to deal with the Tyranids, they weren't able to protect the world as much, and so the Space Marines of the Nova Marines have taken have taken the uh, took in the advantage here. Since now the the Tau world isn't protected from space, they were able to come in, and their mission. Since they've seen Tyranids, Tau, and Eldar on the same world, they thought the best thing to do is to come in and do an exterminatus mission on this planet. But since they can't get a good coordinate on how good coordinate since the crust is really thick. They need to um, plant a transmitter beacon basically deep inside the deep inside the earth. So they not only need the t space, we need to blow through all the tau, get to this entrance. You know, it'll be another game where they'll have to set it up while the Tyranids are trying to stop them, and to basically exterminate the planet and kill everyone on it, the Tyranid, the Tau, and Eldar, including. So yeah, the space marines are here. They're gonna. That's their objective. This one objective. It's that that hole, and Tyranids, uh, their reserves come out of that hole that they have, and uh, that's their whole thing. Protected, and I have to get to it. So I'll go through my list. I got six Terminators here. They're not kit out to how they they work because they have three Thunder Hammers, a Lightning Claw, a guy with a Power Fist, and Storm Bolt, and Storm Bolter, and a Salt Can. It's kind of weird. They come from they came from the Space Wolves box, so I just built them up cool. But yeah, that's how I'm playing them. Six bikes. I'm taking no, I'm taking the White Scar Chapter Tactics. No wait, is that five? No, that's five bikes and a ta and an attack bike. Have two grav guns and a multi melt on the attack bike. Another squad of s no that five no that's six six bikes two grav guns. All the all the sergeants here that are in gold have melt bombs. Here's a command squad with my warlord chapter master Batias. There's the chapter master right there. He has artificial armor relic blade. Uh. What else he has? He has the uh, Master of the Vanguard Warlord trait, and he has a Combi Flamer. He also has a Storm Shield. He has five guys, an Apothecary, four veterans who have Grav Guns. Another squad of six bikes here. Two Grav Guns, a melt bomb for the Sergeant there. And also, all the veterans in here have melt bombs all right, on this side of the conflict, attacking on the opposite side, I got 10 assault marines, two flamers, squad of five scouts with a heavy bolter, squad of a combat, squad of five marines and a missile with a missile launcher, a rhino filled with the other five marines with a melted gun and a power fist, two land speeders with multi-melta and missiles, typhoon missile launchers, another squad of 10, uh, assault marine with two flamers and another captain guy with a relic blade artificial armor and a combi flamer. That is my 2500 point army. I'm going to the Tyranids list now. Okay, the Tyranids set up in a circular uh, formation. I'll start with this group of uh, 10 gargoyles right here. Moving around this way, uh, in, in back of the, the gargoyles uh, is a melanthrope right there, 
two hive guards, ones with the big cannons, one group of 19 hormigons. Up on the hill, I have my flying hive tyrant, with the brown winged one. I have another flying hive tyrant, the green winged one. And let's continue around. Uh, Right here is another group of 19 hormigons. And circling around the other way is another group of 10 gargoyles. I have a group of three biovores right there. A zoanthrope right near the entrance. Another melanthrope, well, actually two of them, one right there and one right there. On the hill, a uh, uh, Carnifex, another Carnifex right there. Okay, finally, uh, for my heavy supports, uh, finish with my heavy supports, uh, the Tyranofex right there, and the Exocrine. Okay, uh... My warlord right here is a walking hive tyrant. He has two tyrant guard with him. This particular model is my warlord. He has the warlord that gives 18 inch synaptic uh, synapse. And he has the psychic powers of catalyst, domination, and the horror. This hive tyrant with the green wings actually has paraxium, uh, dominate, and catalyst. This Hive Tyrant right here has Onslaught, Warp Blast, and Dominion. And the Zoanthrope right back there by the entrance. Zoanthrope right there. He has Dominion, Warp Lance, and Psychic Scream. So that is our my 2500 point list. I actually have two groups of 10 Termagants in reserve and three Warriors. So we'll come back. It is actually going to be Space Marines turn one. I did not seize the initiative, so they will be going first. And we'll see what happens. All right, so um, Space Marines moved forward. Space Marines cannot charge turn one. We allowed it, but the Tyranids can. Uh, here in my bikes, all moved forward. Terminator's a little bit behind because they're slower over here. Salt Marines moved forward. I moved forward this all everyone they needed to except for the heavy weapon so they can still shoot. And everyone, yeah, everyone getting closer. Uh, hopefully the tier and the counter attack won't be so devastating, but now I'm going to shooting phase, so it's hopefully it is devastating. Alright. And my turn. Am I shooting very devastating? D squad is six guys. Bike shot at this hive tyrant, took a wound from him. My command squad and the commander killed six hormigons. These two bike squads killed the carnifex. The terminators and the assault marines over here killed all the gargoyles. These assault marines killed four gargoyles. gargoyles. This land speeder made this hive tyrant jink. But didn't do anything to him. And the this um, land speeder... The Rhino and all those guys back there shot and killed a, bit, a lot of Hormigons. So now going into Tyranids turn one. Okay, movement phase. Uh, start over here. I moved these Hormigons up six inches. My flying hive tire is actually not flying. He just moved up 12 inches right there. Uh, let's see, this uh, Melanthrope jumped up into the hill, this uh, big Exocrine did not move so he could shoot better, the Hive Guard jumped up to the hill, the Melanthrope jumped up to the hill for some cover saves, the Zoanthrope moved right there, the Biovores moved over six inches, everyone else over here moved, this Hive Tyrant is flying. Uh, the, the walking fly hive tyrant uh, moved up six. Everyone else moved up their allotted number, six inches. 
Uh, well, those little flying gargoyles moved up 12. They're right in front of the bikes. Over here, the big, uh, oh gosh, what is that called? Uh, Tyronofex, he moved up. And as far as, oh, over here, last bit of movement. This Carnifex moved up right there. And in uh, the psychic phase, I was a well. I lost a wound to uh, Perils of the Warp with my Hive Tyrant, my Warlord. But he did get Paraxium off on that command group. Uh, I got a Catalyst off from this Hive Tyrant on himself, the Flying Hive Tyrant, and those uh, Hormigants. And uh, what else did I do? I think that's all I did. So, uh, we'll see what happens, do some shooting, assaulting, and try to take out these Space Marines. Okay, in shooting phase, I was able to use uh, this Exocrine. He took, uh, well, he basically killed one of those land speeders that's gone. Uh, the Hive Guard shot at the other land speeder, took a hull point away, and it's jinking. Uh, well, it has to shoot sixes anyway, but it's there. Over here, my Hive Tyrant, who's not flying, he shot at those Marines. Nothing happened. They made their saves. Over here, this Carnifex shot and killed six of these Space Marines, the Salt Marines. Uh, rest of the shooting, the Biovores tried to hit and didn't do anything to those bikes. I was trying to shoot at those bikes. Uh, my gargoyle shot and didn't do anything to the bikes on the hill. This uh, flying hive tyrant shot actually killed three bikes right here. They made their leadership. Uh, and over here, this big Tyronifex tried to flame these guys, and again, they made their leadership or they made their saves. So now I'm going to go into charges. Carnifex is going to charge this group of marines. Uh, the Hormigants and the Hive Tyrant are going to charge those guys right there, the Space Marines. And over here we're going to do some charges. Uh, the Catalyst, uh, well the Hormigants with Catalyst are going to charge that command group. And I'm going to see if I can even get this uh, big uh, Hive Tyrant in there as well. So, come back with that. Okay, in the charging and assault phase, uh, the Carnifex did get into contact with these assault marines right here. I also was able to make it into charge range with these Hormigants. I lost two in Overwatch. Over here, my uh, Flying Hive Tyrant came in, hit one impact hit, killed the guy. Over here, some big good news for the Tyranids at least. I basically made my Hormigants, they were had Catalyst, they made the charge to that command group. And over here, this group was not able to get over to here, so I went ahead and sh uh, charged them into this secondary group of, of uh, Space Marines on bikes. So uh, we'll get to come back, see what happens. Oh, last thing, last bit of news, these uh, the flying gargoyles did get into assault right there. They lost two guys in Overwatch. Okay, after the assault phase, over here, didn't do too well. Just killed two uh, little space marines. One was an impact hit, and the other killed him in, uh, with my attacks. I, I only have one wound left for my Carnifex, because his uh, guy with the power fist beat him up. Over here, all my Hormigons died. I did put one wound away from his uh, chapter master, and I killed two of those uh, Space Marines, and I have no wounds over there for that guy. Other assaults. Over here, these Hormigants, I lost three of them. I did take one wound away from the, the Warlord. He lost the Chapter Master. He lost something. Uh, they did get away with their hit and run. Over here, my three little gargoyles didn't do anything, and they just got destroyed. And over here, the only good thing I really did was this group with the Tyrant Guard lost uh, one wound in Overwatch and one in uh, Assault. But they did kill three? Or did they hit kill four? They killed four of the bikes. 
and they could not get away, so they're still stuck in combat. So not as well as I thought. There's still a bunch of groups still. I wanted to keep at least two, one more of those groups in combat, but that didn't happen. So we're going into turn two for the Space Marines. Space Marine movement. These bikes moved up. These bikes moved within one inch because they're going to do some charges. Terminators moved up. Bikes moved over here. Uh, Land Speeder moved back. Rhino moved forward. And no other movement here. Do some, now I'm do some shooting. Alright, in my shooting phase, um, in my shooting phase, these bikes shot here, killed a hive guard, put a wound on the other one. Try to put some shots into the exocrine zone throat from back here, didn't do anything. Uh, killed the biovore and put a wound on him from the bikes and put a wound on another biovore from the terminators. And took three wounds away from the Tyrone effects from the command squad. Now I'm going to do some charges and we'll be back. I'm just saying what's in assault, what got him. Charge the Hive Guard. Multi charge the Tyrone effects and the Malanthrope with my command squad. Biowars got double charged by the bikes and the Terminators. These guys are still in combat, probably going to die. Still in combat. I'll probably, maybe, I don't know. Hopefully take out this Hive Time, that'd be cool. And still in salt here. If the Carnifex doesn't wipe me out, I should kill him. And yeah, so now going into uh, my assault. Alright, in assault, it didn't do anything to the Hive Guard. Here, I lost a guy and lost two wounds on my Chapter Master. He only has one wound left. And the Hive Tyrant had lost a wound. Finished off the Carnifex here. And, uh,. Finish off the Carnifex and consolidate six inches forward. Killed the Biovores here. Uh, one inch consolidation and oh, and um, oh yeah, my bikes died here. Didn't do anything. Here my bikes took, uh, there's only one wound left from the Turbagon and two wounds left on the Malanthrop. After everything was said and done. Now going into uh, Tyranid to turn two. Okay, uh, start of uh, Tyranid turn two. The only reserves I got on were these uh, warriors that came out of that uh, that opening, and so they're ready to fight. Uh, as far as my movement, uh, not a lot of movement. We're being hemmed in. The only thing I really did was I brought up this uh, group of uh, uh, hormigons. I moved this the hive tyrant. Or the Tyrant Guard and this uh, Swarm Lord. Uh, what is it? Hive Tyrant. Yeah, th that group moved up. Getting closer. No other movement, really. Uh, I did turn my Flying Hive Tyrant. He went over. Flew over there. He's still flying. He ran over one of those t uh, Terminators and actually killed him. And so now uh, we did roll for Psychic Abilities. And I was I got 4, so a total of 12. I'm going to, oh no, we already did that. I, I got Catalyst for this group right here, and also the big Tyron effects. And I got a Catalyst, he threw Catalyst on himself, and then this group of Hormigons. So that is it, we're going to shooting and then assault. Okay, just results from shooting. Over here, the Warriors uh, tried to blow up these Space Marines, nothing happened, they made all their saves. This uh, big exocrine shot took a whole point away from that uh, from that rhino. Uh, I think I already talked about killing this terminator with my smash of that well, whatever it's called. Uh, I did shoot the hive tyrant, and he was able to kill those three little bikes, so they're dead. And now I'm going to go into assault, uh, and we'll come back with that. End of my assault phase. Uh, jump assault marines killed the hive tyrant, but they lost three. Consolidated forward. Here, the exocrine put another whole point on the rhino. My bikes fell back because they lost a model to the hive guard. My command squad killed the tyrannifex and the malanthrope, but lost a model to the tyrannifex. 
Here the Terminators killed both the Tyrant Guard and a Hormigant and lost a model to the uh, Tyrant Guard, I believe. And that was it for the Assault Phase. Now going into Space Marines Turn 3. Alright, in Space Marine Movement Phase. Jump Pack Marines moved up. Bike moves, moved up to attack this Malanthrope. These bikes moved up to take out maybe the Zonethrope and the Malanthrope. Marines popped out of the Rhino and some more of the Jump Packs moved forward to take out the Warriors. Uh, my Scouts moved forward. My Space Marines did not. The Lancer moved forward a little bit. And that was it for my movement. Going to shooting. I did forget to say that we rolled the switch sides and we did not switch sides. Anyways, uh, back to uh, the Space Marines shooting phase. These guys shot pistols at the Exocrine, took a wound away. These bikes unloaded into the Malanthrope and took a wound away. The Command Squad unloaded into the other Malanthrope and killed him. And all these uh, Marines here shot and took two wounds away from the war one warrior. These guys over here shot. One missile launcher shot over here and killed the Hive Guard. Now we're going to Assault Phase. End of my Assault Phase. Here, uh, the Chapter Master took two wounds from the Exocrine. I didn't do anything to the Malanthrope. I killed one of the Warriors with my Power Fist. I lost a guy though. And over here, three of my, I believe three of my Terminators died. Yes, three Terminators died, but the last Terminator punched the Hive Tyrant, but he, and he stayed in combat. So now going into Tyranid's turn three. Is it turn? Yeah, it is turn three. Wow. Okay, I did get both of my reserve units on the Termagants. All of them shot. Both groups were able to kill four of those Space Marines. They made their leadership. Movement, no one, everyone was in assault except for this guy. Flying Hive Tyrant, he turned and moved and shot over here, did nothing to these bikes. Uh, the only thing I did in Psychic Phase is I got uh, Catalyst for that uh, Exocrine and for the Flying Hive Tyrant. We're going to go into assaults right now. Okay, uh, in assault, my Hive Tyrant killed that last Terminator. So both groups, the, the Hormigants and the Hive Tyrant, moved forward. In assault, my guys did nothing to that group. Uh, the Warriors were killed by the Space Marines. Over here, the Exocrine killed two Space Marines. They're still in combat. I think he lost a wound. Uh, nothing else. And nothing happened in this assault right here. But now that's the end of the turn, and it's Space Marines' turn three. Moved my bikes back here to take out this Hive Tyrant. Rhino moved back. Landsberg moved forward to get in range of the zone throw. And now we're going to shoot. Alright, and in my shooting phase. Uh, killed some Termagants. Killed the zone throw from the land speeder. Killed some Termagants there from shots over here. And killed the Hive Tyrant with my command squad. So now I want to do some charges. These three models are going to charge these Termagants. And that'll be it. And do the preceding charges we've already had. Alright, here in uh, Assault. Took out all the Termagants here. And I believe that's all I did in the Assault phase. Oh, no, no, I'm sorry. My jump with a big monstrous creature. Yeah, I took out, I took out the Exocrine. Sorry if... Uh, the audio was bad there. I took out the Exocrine with the Jump Marines. And these Jump Marines and my Sergeant with Power Fist took out these Termagants. So now we're going into Tyranids, turn 4. Okay, my only movement was moving this Hive Tyrant right here. He turned and shot his 12 shots and was able to kill... The last two jump marines there, even the guy with uh, the chapter master with the two plus save. Up here on the top of the hill, these five uh, termagants shot 
and were able to take out the remaining, I think there was two uh, assault marines, one during shooting and last one during the assault phase. Over here, these termagants swarmed in and I think they, well, no, they did nothing to that guy right there. They just, uh, two of them died but to the power fist. And then over here in assault, nothing happened. No wounds were given. And he was able to make his leadership and jump away. So, uh, yeah, pretty decent. Took out two little groups, but uh, it's turn, that's my turn. And it's Space Marines turn five coming up. A lot of movement for this turn because last turn, this could be the end of the last turn for the Space Marines. Gonna have to do as much damage as I can. Uh,. Move the command squad up here. Sergeant Anton is still fighting those Hormagons, doing good. These guys spread out. Either I'm going to attack those Termagants or this Flying Hive Tyrant. Everyone moved forward to shoot at this Flying Hive Tyrant. Now let's see what we can do in the assault phase. The shooting phase. Shooting phase, these bikes took out the Malanthrope. And all these guys here shot at the Hive Tyrant. Didn't do anything to him. And for assault, these bikes are going to charge those Termagants, and Anton's hopefully going to take out those Hormagants. Recap assault, these bikes took out the Space Marines, and Anton took down another. Sergeant Anton took down another Hormagant, and he survives, he's there. Now it's Tyranids turn 5, all they got is one, one Hormagant and uh, three wounded Hive Tyrants. This is a wrap up of, of another entire tier in turn five. Oh, there's not much to do. That's why we're doing it like this. Okay, so hit this guy. He moved. He went over, killed the bike, and he got catalyst off of for himself. And in shots is ridiculous. Had seven wounds. They make all their saves. So. And an assault. Yeah. Anton killed the last form of God, and he's up here, staring down the hive time. What? All right. All right, we're going to roll to see if the game ends. It ends. Victory for the Space Marines. They have won the game, holding the, cent the entrance into the epicenter of the Tyranid digestion pools and population and everything, where, mo where most of the big um, Tyranids are hibernating, even the little ones. It's massive numbers in there. And since, you know, since the last game, the Tau were able to administer the disease, making, you know, killing off a bunch of Tyranids in different areas, so the resistance here was a lot less than it would normally be. That's why the Space Marines struck now. Perfect, perfect time for them to strike. And so now they have the entrance in there. Now they have to go in, plant a transmitter so they can exterminatus the planet. The Tau in the last game, as you know, were... Beat the Eldar, but from, from their attack and the constant attack from the Tyranids, they lost the city. So, and but the Tau were able to see what the Space Marines were doing. So the next game will feature the Space Marines versus the Tau fighting. To, one is trying to save the city or save the world, even a world infested with Tyranids, but slowly dying by the Tau disease. And the other, the space, the other side, the Space Marines trying to destroy the world. And the Tyranids will be in there just trying to like, hey, you know, just eating things still. Not knowing that they're at their end, close to their end. Alright, so thanks for watching. Uh, next game will be the finale and a big game. Alright, we're going to roll for my Captain Thaddeus. He was killed. Uh, one Hive Tyrant weakened him really bad. C took a couple wounds. The other Hive Tyrant finished him off. Uh, we're going to roll to see what happens to him because he did die. Okay, minorly wounded. And, uh, so yeah.